you are, you are here and therefore the viewers are probably going to be uh, latching on to your words. So what can, what, how do you categorize the youths that you have dealt with? Yeah, well, we, you know, on these our programs, we actually, we have... <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. hello. hello darling, darling, I will plead with you to please kill the volume of your TV set, otherwise Omolade cannot speak with you. Hello? Hello, Omolade. Okay. Can I speak to Omolade, please? Yes, you can. Go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Good morning, Omolade. Good morning, dear. Yeah, this is his sister from Daughters of Destiny. Oh, good morning. Please, how can I how can I get to reach you? Um, yes, you can reach us on our number, um, O eight one. Okay. Or you could just tweet Omolade Adele at Omolade Adele on Twitter. It's easier to reach me. I'm always on Twitter. Then also right. the telephone number is O eight one six nine four. Okay. Seven eight five five two. All right. All right. Did you did you get the numbers or did you get a Twitter yes, handle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Twitter did. handle is at Omolade Adele. That's the Twitter oh. handle. Then oh, the okay. number to reach me on is also a o eight zero eight one six nine four seven eight five five two. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Thanks for calling. All right. Okay. Now, so you were saying the categories of youths that you have dealt with. So yes. just give us that as a framework. We actually have three categories of youth that we deal with presently. We have, we call some the preteens. They are not up to teenage years. You know, so the issues that they are faced with is different from the teenagers. Hmm. Then we now have the matured youth. That's what we call them. The young adults. Yes. So we have different programs geared at different aspects of the youths that we actually categorized. You know, we have uh, monthly meetings with them for everybody. You know, that one we actually share about life skills. We talk about... You know, we tell them about God because there's, a, then there's need to be a God, there's need for us to have a God factor in everything. So we teach them principles, you know, that can that can guide them in their daily decisions and all that. Then we now have the biannual seminars. We hold that in July. Then we also have in December. So we one is actually geared towards the teenagers. You know, the one in July. It's actually a camp, a one week camp, which we try to change the orientation through the camp. You know, we teach them about different life skills, about financial intelligence. We teach them about skill hmm. acquisition. We teach them about different leadership, different aspects. We don't do that alone. We invite all oh, the NGOs and other well-known organizations where Junior Achievement, Gemstone, they all come in together and they're able to take sessions with the youth. One week, intensive one week. We introduce them to healthy lifestyle. Where they do exercises in the morning so that they can continue. When afterwards. they leave. Yes. Now, the, 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 the interesting thing for me would be that this, your program, would appear to be only a city based. It's not like it's national. Uh, well, we, we, we have not gotten to the point where you can do this across the country. Uh, well. I cannot on my own do it across the country. That's why I'm working in partnership with organizations that are already across the country, you know, like Gemstone. Gemstone has centers everywhere. I speak on Gemstone program. I can, you know. I'm, you can I'm say that you can you can uh, verify that to be to be the truth. Oh yes, Gemstone. It's a it's a national. It's a, a Gemstone Nation Builders Network. You know, it's actually been headed by Feladro Toye, and so they have centers all over. So those are platforms where one can easily pass on because if you look at what they actually teach the young people, it's similar to what I do. Mm. And I tell people there's mm. nothing new under the sun. Mm. There's nothing you're doing that nobody else is doing. You just need to look for those doing similar things as you and try and work with them. Really. Now the. Therefore, they had to reach young persons, the street persons, you know, the aggrieved, you know, the angry, the irate, you know, those who easily are vulnerable. Yeah. Now, do we have any outreach oh, yes. to these? Oh, yes. I also see that we have weekly outreaches to those street areas. You know, two weeks ago, I was on the Kuramo Beach trying to gather the youth together. We gathered over 50 youth. And we just tell them about purpose. You need to discover your... We are not just here wasting away. And I just had them to turn around, see, you know, the Kurama Beach, there's a VI part and there's a beach side where you see the shanties and everything. And they turn around, which one, what side do you prefer? So seeing them engaging the power of their vision. And so we go all out every week. We go to the youth to the children's ward of the hospitals. Apart from just praying for them and giving them gifts, we still talk about vision. We go to schools, public schools, and we're able to talk to them about vision. So we don't restrict it to just the you get. Hmm. So there are different areas that we actually go to. But every week we go on outreaches 
you know, to reach out to the youth now, in those less privileged. Now, areas. there are two, uh, th those would be a two prong query, really. There are those who have said the God factor has actually become the fearful factor in the Nigerian story. Uh, everybody throws God in your face and therefore you cannot ask questions of your leaders. That's number one. Number two, the second point would be the God factor has now become the linchpin for, you know, the spate of murders going around the country. Everybody's killing in the name of the Lord. So what, where, where, where is that leading us? Yeah, well, I will tell people in terms of God factor, just like the currency, we have the real currency, we have the, the fake, fake currency. Hmm. Because there's a fake currency, does not eliminate the fact that there are real currencies. There are real people that there's a real God, really. And the perspective in which you describe this God to the youth, it's what sticks to them. Not just you doing something else, so not representing to God, but you are. The program. You know, trying to push your own agenda. Yes. Hello, good, good morning. Good morning, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I'm a lady. No, it's a lady. Oh, it's a I'm lady. A lady. I, yeah. I, I beg, I beg, I beg your pardon. Good okay. morning. Good morning, ma'am. Or good morning, darling. So, yeah. your name and where you're calling from? Yeah, my name is Tony. Okay. From Anthony. From Anthony? Yes. Okay, your question or your comment? Yeah, actually, I would like to have her number so I can call her because I really would love to be part of the program. Her program. Yeah, okay. and uh, my have some problems I'd like to discuss with her. And um, Privately? I have a brother I'd like to talk about to, about the program. On this um, youth empowerment and all. Okay, all right. So, Omolade, okay, she would like to have your number, your Twitter handle or something? Okay, my Twitter handle is Omolade Adele, at Omolade Adele. And my number is uh, 081 694 Zero oh, one. I, I, I can't really get it on the phone. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what, what would, you, what, what, would you like to take on the Twitter handle, which may be the easier handle, for you, yes. so you can then reach her and then you can then establish a conversation with her? Come again, please. Would you like to take a Twitter handle? No, I don't actually go to Twitter. <laughs> you are like no. some of us, old school. Okay, all right. So she rather she she won't okay. do Twitter. So don't you have an email address? I have an okay, email. Okay, I think email is better. Okay, my email address is omoladeadele at gmail dot com. Omoladeadele at gmail dot com. I think you have that. Just simply omoladeadele at gmail dot com. Omoladeadele at gmail. Yes. at gmail okay at gmail okay so you have that so you can reach out you know and, and then you can take your all right thank you very much you're welcome and don't forget of course the program is going to be youtubed so you can continue okay. the conversation on youtube later okay all right so you were trying to explain you know how the god factor can be the real the yes. genuine thing and the fake yes. or the yes okay so yes so when, when you when you take when you go take out a real a fake currency out the risk is that after a while it, you get caught with it but if you go out with a real thing, you're doing it with confidence. You know, I, I know for sure that there's a real God. And the real God makes things happen around. And I, 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 am a, I believe so much in God. And so the best way for me to let the youth believe in the God that I, that I actually proclaim to know you is said. for me to actually show. You, you can't actually act God. Yes, <laughs> you can't act God. You can't do it for too long. You get caught. Really. So be, re, reflect God truly. And you find out that it's easy to convince them, really. And the youth, I tell you, they know the real people. They can't be deceived. They know the real people and they know the people that are just saying God with mouth and not really doing it. They know.